So the main surface parts are injection molded polycarbonate. The top plate that Dana is um, working with now, she's applying a little bit of lubricant on the places where the knob turns um, to just give it a nice smooth feel. Um, so we needed a material that um, can be both translucent so the LEDs shine through um, and then RF transparent so it wouldn't interfere with the wireless signal. So Dana's putting the metal part of the knob, attaching that to the polycarbonate piece. Um, now you'd be surprised how much a little bit of weight in the knob affects the feel of the knob. Um, and it also just makes it a more rigid um, binding surface. The parts we source from different locations, um, some of these parts are from China. Uh, some of them are, the like the circuit boards are, are made in, on the East Coast in Boston area. Um, but we're doing the final assembly and test here in San Francisco. The components, the, um, the metals and the, and the um, polycarbonate all come from China. We have a parts supplier there. Um, and then the circuit boards are made on the East Coast. Right. So this is um, one, it's a, it's a mechanical little switch. Um, it's like the one part that isn't placed on the circuit board when we get it. And it just sticks right on there in the middle and that's actually the knob push. So one of the um, significant mechanical complexities here that we've had to deal with um, is, if you can believe it or not, a big knob that both turns and pushes. Um, if you are ever designing a product, I would recommend that your big knobs, you make your knob, actually make your knobs small, because that, that makes it easier, and then make them either turn or push, but not both. Um, but we've got a design that works, um, we're, we're happy with how it feels. In the early processes, we're either 3D printing or more often um, CNC milling, so basically having a these parts cut out of a larger plastic um, block uh, with a CNC machine. And so we did a ton of iteration um, to get the feel right, um, the knob turning um, not too hard, not too soft, the button push working well. Um, all the parts go on in the same direction, right? So you put, once you put the knob together, um, you can sort of, you sort of stack everything up vertically. Um, there are two circuit boards. The second circuit board just has the ports on it, the USB port, the audio out jack, and the, um, the digital um, out port. All the parts are now assembled except for um, the, the bottom of the case. And everything is still accessible. I talked a little bit about the, uh, the port board, but the other board is where all the magic happens. It has the, uh, uh, the Wi-Fi module, which is um, also where we do our processing. It has the CPU and, and the Wi-Fi. It's all single chip. Um, comes in a module form. Um, there's a 24-bit DAC on that board. All the LEDs are on that board on the flip side of it. And then, of course, these units aren't the final finish units. Um, these are just clear tinted um, polycarbonate. Um, we are still working on the finish with our parts suppliers to make sure that you know, we, get a, we nail a finish where the LEDs shine through well, um, but we're building these beta units really for testing, so we wanted to go ahead and build them, get them out there uh, while we work on the finish in parallel.